Hi. There was this question that how does COMSOL assign numbers to different boundaries? So for example, here I have uh, made a geometry consist of different segments. And you can see that if I click on this boundary, the number of that boundary is 32. And this boundary uh, has the number of one. So how does it work? In this video, I'm going to answer this question. So whatever that I'm going to say is based on my own observation. I have not read anything uh, from console documents related to this. Um, so there could be some minor error in this uh, explanation, but most likely whatever that I say is correct. Okay, so first thing that we have is, uh, is a priority uh, list. So different uh, boundaries, they get, they have different priorities. So those boundaries that are linear, like for example, a line segment or the size of a rectangle, a square, polygons, whatever, whatever that is linear, those have the first priority. The second priority goes to quadratic curves, like for example, a circle or ellipse or whatever that is a quadratic um, segment. After that, we have cubic and finally we have parametric and uh, interpolation curves. So these are the uh, priority list, the first priority list. Now obviously each boundary, it has two, um, two points, one at each end. Now these points, obviously they have coordinates. So for example, I have X and Y and Z. Um, X coordinate has higher priority than Y coordinate and that one has higher priority than Z coordinate. And the numbers with the most negative one, they have higher priority than the number more positive. So the priority moves from negative numbers till the positive numbers. Okay, so now the example that I have here is a 2D example. So we have only X and Y. So we do not have Z here, but that is the same uh, if, we had, if we had Z also. Now, let's say this is the geometry that I have uh, plotted and uh, I copied this geometry here in a paint file. Um, so there are some line sections which are here. The, the purple one are those curves that are made uh, with a quadratic um, function basically. So this is an ellipse, this is a quadratic uh, segment, this is a fillet which also has a quadratic part, this is a part of a circle. Now this, uh, the, the blue one, these are basically made of cubic uh, segments. Of course this other side is a line but then this curve is a, is a cubic curve. And then finally we have uh, this side which is basically um, a parametric curve in this section and of course this one is uh, also, maybe my, my mouse is not visible. I think this is not very good. Uh, should I turn on this pen attention? Yes. So for example, this part is a parametric curve. This is a, of course, is a line. This is an interpolation curve. This one, even though it looks like a circle, but um, it is actually made of two parametric uh, curve. So that's why I made, made the color as orange. So this part has the, the linear sections. They have priority number one. Of course, these are also linear sections. So these are also priority number one. And then the purple one, then blue, and then finally the orange. So this is the priority from type of the curves. Now we have another priority and that is, uh, as I mentioned, regarding the coordinates. Um, let's say we have, let's say we have some uh, point. So this is basically X and Y. And then this point is connected to a number of, uh, number of boundaries are connected to this point x2, y2, x3, y3. Now, in order to know which boundary will get the first numbers, we have to move from the most negative part toward the, the positive. So we move from this side and we come to here and we find that, ah, oh, this is the first point. Okay, so that point is the reference point uh, for all the boundaries that are connected to this point. Now, we look after we know we have the reference point, now we look at the, the boundaries and we look at the other point. So these are the other points of these three boundaries. 
So which one has the minimum x? So obviously x1 is less than x2 and x3. So this boundary has the priority number one in this case. Now we look at these two boundaries. Uh, the other points x2 and x3, they are equal. So what we have to do now, we move to the second priority, which is y dimension. And because y3 is less, so this one gets priority number two and this one gets priority number three. So now let me I give you another example. And that is basically we move again from this side and then we reach to a point where we have a number of points like this. Let's say we have something like this. So this is x1, y1. This is, for example, x2, y2. And here we have x3, y3. This is x4, y4. So if I move from left to right again, of course, I feel faced with these two points. Now, both of them, from x point of view, they have the same um, value. They, uh, they are equal. So we look at the y. So, of course, y2 is less than y1. So y2 will get the, this point will, will win, basically, this uh, competition. So now that point would be the reference. And what I have to do is to look at the, the boundaries that are connected to this point. So we have this boundary and also we have this boundary. So we have to look at the x and y of the other point, of the other end of the boundary. Now, this is x3, y3, and this for this boundary is x1 and y1. But of course, x1 is less than x3, so this boundary has priority number 1, and then we have this boundary, priority number 2. So now any boundaries that are connected to this point is already numbered. So now we move to the next uh, most important point, which is this point, um, because the x is uh, is same as this one. So now this, this point has a priority and it has only one boundary, so this one gets boundary number 3. So after we're done with all... Um, the linear sections then what we have to do is to go to the quadratic sections and then to the cubic sections and finally to the interpolation of parametric curves so let me i show you how does this work on um, uh, on console and we, we will see whether our hypothesis is correct or not so if i move as i said this one is um, is a is a parametric curve this one is interpolation, so they are not priority number one. Only the linear parts are priority number one at this section. So we move from left to right and we face with this point. So this is the minimum x, which has a linear section connected to this. So obviously this, this point will get, uh, this boundary will be the first boundary. So if I click, you see that this boundary is really number one. So then, then this one is done. We move to the next one. So this point... Uh, this line is not a straight line actually this is a cubic line so no problem then we move forward and then we get to this point which has another linear section so of course this one would be number two and then we move further we reach this point so this point has three boundaries connected to it as we can see let me I zoom in a bit so now this point has now the priority so we should decide whether this boundary or this boundary or this boundary will get number three but then we have to look at the other point. So in this case, this point has the minimum x because all of these two points, they, the x is higher. So this point will get number three, this boundary. Okay, so I made a mistake here. And we should see why. Why I made a mistake. Um, because there is some mistake. Oh, uh, no. There is which kind of mistake? This one should get boundary number three. Mm. is there any other boundary no so this one is here then we have ah sorry because i thought that this extend up to here this actually extend only up to this point so the other the other point is actually here and this x value is obviously less than that so this one will be boundary number three and then uh, the next x is this one which will be boundary number four and the next one is this one, which is boundary number five. So now we move from this point, we move further. The first boundary, the first point that we arrived is here, which has a linear part. And there is no other, other point uh, on the same X. So this one will get number six. And then we move further, we get to this point, And this is the only boundary that is connected is here, which uh, this one will get number seven, as you can see. And then as we move further, this boundary, this point has the lowest x. 
So this boundary, uh, there is no other connection, so this boundary will get number 8. Again, I move for further, so then we have this point, so this gets boundary number 9, and then we have this one, let me zoom in. So this boundary, this point is dominated now, so we get boundary number 10. So now which we move uh, again toward the right side, we see that we space with the situation where there are two points, they have the same x. So which point is dominated now? The one that has minimum y. Obviously this one has minimum y. So this point is the reference now. Okay, so now we, there are two boundaries that are connected to this point. Um, if you look at the other side, this one, the x value of this other point is higher than this one. So, so th this boundary that is here is um, it has more priority. So this one will be boundary number 11. And then obviously this one will get boundary number 12. And now this point is done. So the next important point is here, which has only one boundary connected. So this one will get number 13. We move forward, we get to this point. No, maybe there is, okay. So these are done, then, then we reach to this point. And there is also a line section here, so this one will get number 14. And then everything is done with regard to that. We get to this point, so there are again, so the first point is the same. We look at the second point. So the second point, they have the same x. So we have to move to the priority of y. Which one has minimum y? So this one has minimum y. So this boundary is priority number 15. And then we have this one, priority number 16. Then we move to this to this part which are actually three points with the same x the one with minimum y has the highest priority so these two boundaries we have to define which one goes first obviously because here it has less x compared to this point this one will be the next point for us so it will be boundary number 17 and this will be boundary number 18 and obviously after that we have this one uh, okay now it's here Mm, all right um of course bet at this point we have two boundaries one is here and one is here but the x of this this point is less than that so this one will get number uh, 19 and this will get number 20 and now we move to this point there is only one line connected obviously that gets number 21 then 22 and then finally 23 so now we are done with all linear sections. The second priority, as I said, are uh, with quadratic forms. As I mentioned, this is not a quadratic, this is a parametric curve. So if we move, this is a parametric curve, this one is a quadratic because it's a part of a circle. I made it with a circle and cutting the other part of the circle. So this is a quadratic. So the first point is here and the, there is only one boundary, so this one gets 24. And the next point is here, this one gets 25. We move further, this is also a quadratic curve. So this one will get number 26. The fillets are also quadratic. So this one gets number 27. And then ellipse is also quadratic. So for the ellipse, if we look closely, we see that this point has the priority. And so we have to look at the other side of the boundary. We have one, one here and this other boundary is here. But this one has lower y because the x1 are equal. So it has lower y. So this one gets the next priority, 28. And then here we have 29. Now, we get to this point. The x are equal. So this one has lower y. So this point is the first priority. And the only boundary that is connected is this one, which gives you 30. And then this point is priority. The only boundary that is connected is this so we have 31 so all the quadratics are now done now we get to the cubic the cubics are these two two graphs as i mentioned before so this one obviously this point is more to the left so x is less so this this boundary will get first 22 and then this one gets 23 now we come to the last stage which is parametric curves and interpolation as i mentioned these two are parametric and this one is interpolation now when you create a parametric or interpolation curve actually even though this one for example uh, if you look at the um, where is that graph where is the interpolation for this let me i see is this one let me i see what happens here 
okay so interpolation maybe it's this one yes and then i made it to um, solid so even though this interpolation has number of point when you make it as a solid then it will get only two points actually you can see that now this one has only two points on it so these points are the reference for this figure um, between all the figures that are quadratic uh, that are uh, sorry uh, parametric and interpolations so these two first uh, these two points will define uh, will be the the reference so now we can see that uh, if i if i look closely you can see that uh, it's obvious that this point is it has uh, the most negative one so this uh, this figure basically will will get the uh, first priority compared to the other two figures so this point now should i go with this one or should i go with that one which one will will be the first now if you look we notice that this curve the minimum value of x along this curve because both of the points are the same for these two curves so we cannot only look at these two points we can look at these points in comparison with other curves but with itself then uh, they are actually the same both of these these boundaries are connected to the same points um so on this side of the on this uh, boundary actually the minimum value of x we have to look at the minimum of x or minimum of y along this boundary so we we obviously we see that minimum of uh, of x in this one is certainly less than this uh, this boundary so so this boundary will get the next one which is 34 and then this one will get 35 remember that first we number these two because this point has the higher highest priority among all these three points and the boundaries are connected to this now obviously if you move further we get to this point will be the most prior priority one but as you can see the minimum of x in these two curves in the top one and the bottom one is actually the same so uh, from the x point of view they are actually the same so we have to move to y which one has the minimum y obviously this one has the minimum y so this gets number 36 and this one we get number 37 and then we move here at this point and the last one is here which gets 38 so this is basically how to how console assign numbers to each boundaries so yeah the most likely the whatever that i said is correct it's the, this is the logic behind it only maybe for parametric and interpolation curves um, i don't know whether there are situations that minimum of x and minimum of y on on both of these uh, boundaries becomes the same than what it does maybe if there is such a situation at all or not and if there is then maybe it calculates the next minimum point like the point that is a slightly larger than the minimum point and then compare it again probably it's like that but i don't know 100 percent all right bye